to help avoid injury. Um, we're going to go through a couple of different variations of squat. Once we get your squat in easily well, we're going to try and teach you some front squats. We're going to try and introduce you to the overhead squat. And then once we're comfortable that everybody is squatting pretty well, we're going to have a little workout of the day for you, uh, which will involve the squat and squatting movements in the workout. Yes, so start to lift your toes off the floor and sit, up, sit back. Really sit back into your heels. You keep sitting back with a slight bend in your knees so it feels like you're going to tip back. Now, if your knees are bending, it means you're basically going to your quads. So you really need to push those knees back behind the ankle and the butt screw right back. So you're feeling like you're going to tip back. Now, you get that strong arch in the low back, nice strong arch in the low back. So you really stick the butt out, and the arm comes back. You really press the arm back. Now, the head is in line with your spine. Again, if you're feeling the weight shifting onto your ball of the feet, your knees are going to be here. So really come back, bring that knee behind the ankle. Heads in line with the spine from here, then the arms come up, sweep up and through. Really work hard, clear with it, extend the upper back. Good, nice and strong through the low back. Good. Flat, work for it, work for it, work for it. Good. A little slightly to the lower bend and really work for it up through here. Then just extend the upper back a little bit more. And stand up. And relax. Now you can take that same awareness that we just built. Probably. As you squat down, the arms are going to go out. As it comes about, you're really thinking about shifting the weight all the way back into your heels, maintaining that strong lumbar extension, maintaining that good upper back. So, so let's go again. Sit back into those heels. Right back, 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 back. Let that weight come into the heels. Strong roll back. Lift the chest, lift the chest, lift the chest. Now pull and come up. We have one more before we get a rest. So let's go again. Sit back into those heels. Then the arms up. Chest, right? Chest, chest, chest. Get the weight back into the heels. Lift up the chest a little bit. Yeah, so you've got to work with this position. Pull in and come up and rest. Now, the thing that we need to be able to do for your all max nutrition and growth fitness challenge, you need to be able to get deep enough. Okay? So the criteria for the squat is that the crease of the hip has to drop below the level of the knee. Yes? So from the side, it looks like this. The crease of the hip is below the level of the kneecap. You've got to get down here somewhere. What they call a mature squat is when you're squatting from a jumping position. So if this would be your jump fifth, that's the way you jump from, that's where you should squat from. Why? Because you're getting a more efficient distribution of force, right? The knees acting as a pure hinge. So we've got straight uh, perpendicular force going through the floor as opposed to some going here and some going out there, which is really doing nothing. So it should be about jumping, up, right? And that's where you're starting. Put your one hand on top of the other. Good. Straight, extend straight up. Good. All right, so let's go. go down to the bottom. Work for this position. Work for this position. Check the mirror and see if you're in the right height. Crease of the hip below the knee. Think about that upper back position. Try to get a little more right to be clear, a little bit more right. Now drive the knees out and come up. Excellent, that was perfect. Let's go again. Back into those heels, back into those heels. Keep that body up right. Think about that upper back now. Keep that upper back. That's it. Work for that position. Lift the arms up a little bit right. Lift the arms up. Drop the knees out and come up. Excellent. And rest. Okay, I want everybody to come towards this wall over here. Here's a, a little fix you can do for people like Claire. So, just square out along the wall. This way. If you break my mirror, I'm going to charge you for it. <laughs> okay? So think about getting the weight into the heels. Real strong lumbar back, lumbar extension, upper back extension, and sit back and down into those heels. Let's go, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Throw those toes right, and come out. Good. Right, take a slightly wider stance for me. Good, okay. Keep working, keep working, keep your up. Let's try again, two more. Sit down, lift that chest right, lift that chest, lift that chest. That's it, work for that position, work for that position. Learn your progression, drive the knees out, and come up. Good. All right, we're gonna try to get as, as deep as we need to do to make it a legal rep in, uh, in the competition. Would you say that generally most people don't uh, have too much curvature, so try to kind of keep that, I don't know what you call that, nice spine right? Keeping it as rounded as, as much as you can. Yeah, so the question you're asking is, are you trying to make sure people are really exaggerated? Yeah. Right, yeah. So the thing to think about is flat boxy girls. Right. Hey, hey, hey. I'm just going to turn on. Flat boxy girls walk around like this. 
all the time because they want to flex, right? So they're trying to make you look like a got one. And that's exactly the imagery you want to get in the head when you squat. You want to think about that flat boxy girls who are doing this. So that's what you're going to do. You're going to go into what we call it, in the exercise world, we call it an anterior pelvic tilt. Pooch back. But we've cocky your pooch, right? <laughs> so cock your pooch in the major vernacular. That's going to help you to maintain that lumbar curve. It's nice and strong, it's nice and tight, because those muscles need to contract asymmetrically to keep you stable, right? So you think about just about to squat, yeah, I come in, get on the bar, try fat boxy girls, <laughs> come down, drag the knees out. We'll never forget it now. Right? So, Claire, you know this well. What are you picking up? <laughs> you know, you know about this well. So, you know, just bring that imagery in your mind. Okay? So, now we're going to get you to try the squat as if you had a bar on your shoulders. Okay, so get those arms rotated underneath the bar. Feel like you're punching up into that bar. And then we're gonna go into a squat position. So ready? Just like before. Bend and float, get float the toes, sit back, sit back, sit back. Get down, lift the chest right, lift the chest. Get back into those heels, get back, sit that chest clear, lift that chest. Work for that position, work for that position. Yeah, Drive the knees out and up. Excellent. Up. Let's go in your time. All right. Nice out. Much down. Okay. Get the elbows underneath the bar. Good. Keep it there. Seven. Chest. Two. You make this work better. Make this work. Get down there. Get down. Get down. Get down. Chest down. Much better. Good. Last one. I'll jump into that bar. Chest down. Chest up. And drive. Good. And rest. Very good. Very good. All right, so that's the back squat, Amina. Um, Amina's gonna demonstrate the front squat for us. Now, you see now, look at, the, look at the distance away from her back in the perpendicular plane. We have, so come through it again. So now her low back muscles have to prevent this weight from falling forward. And if this is a heavy weight, these low back muscles are working over time to try to prevent her from falling forward. So what she's gonna try and do is she's gonna keep those elbows up. And she's gonna try to stay as upright as possible as she goes down, so that now the dowel is falling right inside to be perpendicular to her base of support. So it's falling right down between her feet, not more extensors. Let's try again. Let it actually roll onto your dowel, so just rather than holding it. Like when the bar is like that, you have to hold it in your chin. Good, because it's going to roll off, because it's got no weight. And now the dowel is falling right through her base of support, and as she comes up, she drives the elbows up and comes up just to hold the bar in place, but you grab it like a peace sign and you just let it roll onto your delts. You're not actually holding it in your fingers, like gripping it, like Keisha is, like claw. <laughs> but you're actually letting it roll out of your fingers onto, onto your delts. So yeah, but because it's got no weight, it's gonna feel like you gotta tuck it in with your chin. Nice right? bring your elbows uh, up. Yeah. So just let it roll, almost like it's rolling out of your fingers. Now bring your elbows up, and just hold it with your chin. See, James has got a good position here. James has got a good position. You may be holding a little bit too much. Just relax the hand fingers a little bit. It's in a good position. The elbows are up, pointing forward, body's away. Okay, keep that low back arch. Keep that low back position. Keep that low back position. Cock that bum. Cock that bum. Elbows up. Now drive these out. Then come up. Try and think about your bum going back from the start. Right? And make sure your feet stay flat. If you feel yourself rolling onto the outside or inside of your feet, make the adjustment. Okay? So, let's start to go down. Chest up, chest up, way back in your heels. Back in your heels, relax it. Fight, fight for that position. Lift that chest up, lift that chest, lift that chest. Float the toes and come out. Good, let's go again. Sit back. And stop and hold it there. Okay. So that's a better position than we've seen with Ryan for most of the night. Except that, you can see how his knees are falling in. See where his shins falling in? Drive those knees out, Ryan. Drive them out, drive them out. That's better. Now drive them out and come straight up. You see, that's one of the problems with a wider position with the feet, because the wider the feet go, the more the temptation is to roll to the inside of the foot. I would say that one of the things you want to do with Ryan to make an adjustment to his squat would be bands. So if you get an elastic band, you got some chewing, we can build a little awareness by giving him a feedback system. Yeah? So we can give Ryan some feedback. Ryan, I want you to step into this. Give attention. Good. So we're going to get Ryan to focus on keeping the tension in tubing as he squats. Right? So sit back, 
back, sit back, think about the chest now, think about the chest. Yeah. Good. See, see what's happening? You've got to work for Push it, otherwise you're going to slip in. Push, Push your knees, knees out. out. Feel the tension in there. Push your knees out. That's yeah. it. Feel the tension in there. Push your knees out. Right there. Good. Hold now, it there. Drive it out and come up. Nice. Good. Let's try again. Sit back. Push sit back. Hips back, back first. Hips back. Hips back. Hips back. Sit down now. Sit down. Keep driving those knees up. Keep driving those. Look at that position already. Yeah. Now, knees out and come up. Nice. Do one more like that. Push back, back hips for back, hips. Back, 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 girl. <laughs> Good. Up and back. Push your knees out. Push your knees out. Tension, drag yeah. out and up. Good, and rest. See, just that little fix. Yeah. yeah. You can step out a bit, right? Yeah. Just that. Big difference. Made a big difference. So if you find that that's your breakdown in the lift, your breakdown is that you roll onto the ball of your feet and your knees go out, then you need to get some sort of feedback system that's going to help you to maintain that abduction, driving those knees out, getting them up to the side so you can get those group medias activated. When you finish those first 50 squats, you go back out the door, two laps around the car park, come back, 20 pull-ups, chin above the bar, 30 and release push-ups, 40 sit-ups, 50, 30, 40, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30,